Why do we get hiccups? Hiccups happen when the diaphragm, the muscle helping us breathe, suddenly contracts. This makes the vocal cords close quickly, causing the hic sound. Common triggers include eating too fast, drinking carbonated drinks, swallowing air, stress, or sudden temperature changes. Hiccups usually go away on their own after a few minutes, but holding your breath, drinking water, or swallowing sugar can help stop them. Hmm. In rare cases, persistent hiccups may be a sign of a medical issue. Hmm. Why don't our haircuts hurt? We don't feel pain when we cut our hair because hair is made of keratin, a protein with no nerves or blood vessels. Unlike skin or muscles, hair is biologically dead once it emerges from the scalp. Hmm. Pain occurs when nerves send signals to the brain, but since hair has no nerves, cutting it causes no sensation. Hmm. However, the hair follicles embedded in the scalp are alive and sensitive, which is why pulling hair hurts. Hmm. What is the purpose behind zebra's stripes? Zebra's bold black and white patterns create an optical illusion called motion dazzle, confusing predators like lions. Stripes may also deter biting insects, as the patterns disrupt the visual cues insects use to land on the zebra. <laughs> Each zebra's stripe pattern is unique, thus aiding in recognition among herd members. Additionally, stripes might help regulate body temperature by creating subtle air flows. Hmm. Why does a corpse flower stink? The corpse flower stinks to attract pollinators like flies and beetles that love the smell of rotting meat. Its foul odor comes from chemicals also found in decaying animals such as sulfur compounds. Hmm. Now, when the flower blooms, it also starts heating up, spreading its nasty smell even farther, making it seem like a warm, fresh carcass. These bugs, fooled by the stink, land on the flower and help pollinate it. Hence, the corpse flower stinks. Hmm. Why do we get a flaky scalp in winter? Firstly, cold air and low humidity can dry out our skin, including the scalp, leading to flakes and itchiness. Secondly, indoor heating also contributes to the dryness by removing moisture from the air. This can cause our scalp to lose its natural oils, leading to irritation. Thirdly, a lack of sunlight in the winter months can affect the balance of our scalp's natural oils and yeast-like fungi, like Malassezia which can cause dandruff. Lastly, wearing hats during winter can further trap huh? heat and sweat, promoting dryness and flakes. Hmm. Why do birds sing loudly in the morning? Firstly, male birds often sing in the morning to impress potential mates. Hmm. Secondly, there is less noise in the morning. This allows the birds' songs to travel further, thus making communication more effective. Hmm. Thirdly, as the light is too dim in the early mornings, singing seems like a productive way for birds to spend their time. Hmm. Lastly, after resting through the night, birds have replenished their energy reserves. Singing in the morning lets them use this energy burst. Hmm. Why are clouds white in color? Sunlight, which we perceive as white, is a combination of all colors in the visible spectrum. Clouds consist of water droplets that are comparable in size to the wavelengths of sunlight. When light interacts with droplets of this size, it undergoes a process called MIE scattering. Unlike other types of scattering, MIE scattering affects all colors of light equally, blending them back into white. This is why clouds appear white to our eyes. 
Hmm. Huh? Why exactly do bees buzz? Firstly, bees use vibrations to shake pollen off flowers and onto their bodies. This process is called buzz pollination and is used by bumblebees and other bees to gather pollen for their colonies. Secondly, bees produce different vibrations to communicate with each other. Thirdly, bees produce high-pitched buzzes as a warning or defensive signal. Lastly, bees produce thermogenic buzzes to generate heat. What is the purpose of eyebrows? Firstly, our arch-shaped eyebrows help channel our sweat as well as the rain towards the sides of our faces, thus protecting our eyes. Secondly, eyebrows help us express a wide range of emotions like surprise, anger, etc. Lastly, eyebrows also help in recognizing faces. In a study, scientists found that participants had a tougher time recognizing people's faces when their eyebrows were erased. Hmm. Do animals really dream? Humans dream during their rapid eye movement stage of sleep or REM sleep. In a research, the brain activity pattern of a rat running for some cheese and the one during its REM sleep was found to be similar. Moreover, a singing bird's brain activity while singing and while in its REM sleep also showed similarity. Thus indicating that perhaps animals dream of their daily activities. Hmm. Where does gold come from? Simple, from Amsum's locker. Oh, Amsum. Gold is produced only when a supernova occurs. As in, when stars explode or when neutron stars collide with each other. During such events, heavy elements such as gold are formed via the rapid neutron capture process. Now, when the Earth was getting formed, gold, along with other heavy elements, sank towards the Earth's core. It is believed that around 4 billion years ago, a huge number of asteroids collided with planet Earth, stirring its core and forcing some of the gold into the Earth's mantle as well as crust. Hmm. What causes huh? altitude sickness? No idea, but Amsum is not afraid of heights. Huh? Oh, Amsum! We can develop altitude sickness if we climb rapidly. Our body is not able to adjust to reduced oxygen, as well as changes in air pressure. The mildest form of acute mountain sickness, or AMS, typically occurs above 2,500 meters, with symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, dizziness, etc. It can further progress to high-altitude pulmonary edema, thus making it difficult to breathe, and further to high-altitude cerebral edema as in swelling of the brain. The best way of preventing altitude sickness is to increase elevation by no more than 300 meters per day. Hmm.